proceedings are concluded. This court is adjourned. If all this shit I did for this motherfucking company, man, you. You ever had a great idea stolen from you and didn't know how to go about getting justice? In Charles Ford's The Anatomy of a Corporate Lynching, he takes us behind the scenes of his public copyright and civil rights lawsuit against his employer, Con Edison. In this explosive page turner, Ford writes of an idea he submitted being taken and used without credit or compensation. In a book where no names have been changed to protect the guilty, Ford details how he stood his ground legally against theft and racial discrimination. Ford's exploration of a corporate lynching attempt inspires readers to pursue justice and fight back legally in the face of corporate opposition and retaliation. The Anatomy of a Corporate Lynching is available on Amazon Worldwide in paperback and on Kindle. Find Ford at author Charles Ford on Instagram. To give an update to a story that we reported on um, actually last year. So there was a white supremacist by the name of Lee Muat. Now he's 43 years old. He has been sentenced to 60 months um, in prison and three years of supervised uh, release after he pled guilty to charges stemming from last year when he confronted a, a group of black teens in Sterling State Park uh, in Monroe, Michigan. After he struck 18 year old Devin Freeland Jr. Um, in the head uh, with a bike lock and attempted to strike a second team. Now they say that Muad told Freeland black lives don't matter during the attack. Uh, the white supremacist pled guilty to a federal hate crime and admitted to willfully uh, causing bodily injury to the team. Um, they say that the white supremacist brutally attacked the teenagers at a public beach because the young people are black. And that's according to assistant attorney general, Kristen Clark. Uh, for the Justice Department Civil Rights Division. Now, uh, that's that's uh, the sister, if you don't know who Kristen Clark is. Uh, she said, hate-fueled, uh, violent crimes like this have no place in our communities protecting Americans from hate crimes. The top priority of the Justice Department, we will use every tool available to bring the perpetrators to justice. So really what you know happened around 7.45 p.m. on June 6, 2020, uh, Freeland was in the park uh, when he heard someone yell from the beach parking lot, in words, don't belong on this beach. As a witness say the white supremacist was upset that Freeland and his friends were playing music on the beach. Like, why would you play music on the beach? People do that, right? Um, and so he started making racial comments about the group. It said the young brother uh, was retrieving a speaker from a car at a time, and one bystander heard the white supremacist say, I wish someone would say something to me so I could beat them. Um, they said when they heard the commotion a few minutes later, when they heard the white supremacist say, this is my beach, N-word. So the white supremacist walked away, from the altercation, then returned with a bike lock and swung it at the young brother and another teen. Now, the young brother left with lacerations across his face, his mouth, a fractured jaw, and lost several teeth. Um, they said the white supremacist also admitted in a plea agreement that he struck one team with a lock and attempted to hit another and that he hurled a racial slurs to the group. Now, they said that a um, dentist in Wyandotte, Michigan, had donated $15,000 worth of free dental work uh, to the team so he could celebrate his upcoming graduation uh, with a complete smile. Um, but I always tell people, y'all young people, if you see somebody walk away from you and run into their car, and you see them opening their car and going to the glove compartment, or they popping the trunk, they getting something. Like, where I grew up, the, the thing was, don't let them get to the car. If you got an altercation with them, don't let them go there because they pop in the trunk or hitting the glove compartment or they getting some, they getting a gun. Usually nine times out of 10 is a gun. So don't let them get to the car. Whatever you do, never let them get to the car. Um, but you know, like I said, cause y'all raised in a different time period than we are, but I'm glad that this white supremacist at least spending some time in prison. I believe he would have got more time if black people was added to that Asian hate crime bill. He wouldn't have gotten no freaking five years. I guarantee you this white supremacist would have did the exact same thing to Asians with that hate crime bill uh, that's going on. He probably would have got 30 years. But as a failure of our black politicians for not fighting for that. This is why I always tell black folks, every last one of them needs to be replaced. They need to go. We need the Gen Xers and the millennials to come in now. Because that other group right there, mm-mm, they, they too sold out.
They don't think about black folks like that, but uh, at least he is going to, to jail. Um, I guess that much, but, um, you know, it's actually pretty quick cause he did it last year and now he's already going to prison. Um, that, that is a good thing, but you know, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about, you know, this particular story. If it's your first time coming to our channel. Make sure you subscribe. Um, you know, we post content here, uh, just about daily. Yeah. We are a daily news channel, even on this, this channel as well. Um, you know, I know there are people we call ghost watchers who watch all the time, but you are subscribed. If you are coming to look for content, just hit subscribe. That way you ain't got to look for it. It'll pop up in your notifications. Are you tired of the violence, tired of the injustice, police brutality, rampant discrimination, lack of gun control in this failed by a socioeconomic experiment called America? Or maybe you need a break from the relentless grind and want to regain control of your destiny, your wealth, your health, and your purpose. Diversifiedgame.com has the right course for you. Prepare for my first trip to Africa. Looking to reconnect with your roots, start a new business, or just a fresh start. Africa, AKA the motherland is waiting. Don't let the Chinese and the Mazungus have the fun and also take over the motherland. From Cairo to Mombasa, from Dakar to Cape Town, Africa has something for everyone from business opportunities to the most amazing people, safety, leisure, and landscapes. The opportunities abound. It is time for the diaspora to reconnect with their roots. Time to reconnect with the birthplace of humanity. Africa is the last frontier. Get your head in the game and reclaim your legacy. The writing is on the wall. Babylon is falling. Give up the stress, grind and violence inflicted on our people on this continent and prepare for a journey of restoration and joy by connecting with the land of your ancestors. Check out our new course and kick off your adventure at diversifiedgame.com.